Hey, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours, and this is your Monday Minutes of Quality EMS Quick Study Tips. Today, we're going to talk about environmental emergencies, and we're going to go over the basics pretty much just to kind of get us started. But of course, I always like to ask why this stuff is important, guys, and kind of point out that while this is key content that can help you with your EMS exams and your studying and preparation, it's also great for things like your patient care, your clinical impressions, and your transport decisions, right? It's also good for when you do your documentation and your interaction with other healthcare providers. So, you know, we talk about environmental emergencies and pretty much what these are medical conditions. They're caused by the environment, their surroundings, things like age, health, uh, fatigue, existing medical conditions like diabetes, and all play a part. Your system, systemic parts, things like hypothermia, heat exhaustion, or heat stroke, okay, are things you're going to see out there in the field, and you're going to see localized issues, things like frostbite or sunburn, right? So just to point out, guys, so you know, just sort of, sort of a point of reference, the core body temperature normally for patients are either 37 degrees uh, Celsius or 98.6 Fahrenheit. So just kind of a baseline so you have an idea on that. So how do we go ahead and, and uh, uh, get this? Well, radiation, which is your transmission of heat through space, okay? Um, conduction, which is that direct transmission of heat, things like sitting on a cold surface, okay? Uh, convection, um, this is that transfer of heat that's by circulation, okay? The, the heat particles, like wind chill, okay? And then finally is evaporation. And this is that loss of heat by vaporization of liquid, okay? And this is really the only effective means that uh, people have in those high sort of temperatures, that dissipation of high temps, okay? Let's talk about heat cramps real quick. When we talk about heat, heat illnesses, to kind of go over this, okay? And what this is about to kind of get us started here, okay? Um, and what are some of the key findings when we talk about heat cramps? Well, mainly is that pain in the muscles, Usually by exercising in hot environments, right? Being in a big hot environment, that excessive loss of salt and water and sweat, right? And again, exercise outside, working outside, playing sports outside can always call, cause this, uh, these heat cramps, okay? And what are some of the management you can do? Pretty much a lot of it's just supportive, but we want to go ahead and move the patient to a cool area. All right, get them out of the heat, that hot environment. We want to give them sips of cool water. Okay, not too many. We want to give more cramps by doing that. And, of course, IV, maybe cool fluids if you have it, depending upon your protocol and what you can do, and monitor and transport the patient to the appropriate facility. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me on this Monday Minutes. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope some of these will kind of ring some bells and get you started and get you going, okay? I hope you can you consider contacting me with some minutes of your own, stuff that you wanted to start, talk about here on the show. Uh, contact me with that information. My email is contact at emsofficehours.com. And uh, I'll be sure to get back to you when you contact me about some ideas on the show. Get in touch with me, guys. I'm on all the social media platforms at EMS Safe, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube as well. Um, be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment or like this video below. I'd love to get your feedback on that. And that's pretty much it. So until next time, guys, as always, I am Jim Hoffman for EMS Office.